Hey guys, it is Sunday, June 9th, and uh, Bitcoin is rallying at the 69.7 level. Um, and uh, I want to just talk a little bit about today the limitations of this power law, I think, for investing. Uh, because I think there are some limitations, and, um, and I just want to go over them. So I'm not going to use any slides here. I just want to sort of work through some of these conceptually. So what does the power law tell us, right? The power law tells us that statistically um, we're right in the middle of the network, uh, middle of the, uh, the trend line at around 70,000, and that Theoretically, by the end of this year, we should be closer to 100,000, um, maybe 90,000 in terms of the trend line. But we could go up two standard deviations above that. And that roughly could take us either to 200,000 or even exceptionally to 400,000, right? It just in, in, Even in this year, it's possible, right? Um, now, if you look at Going out one more year, we could be at let's say 130,000, 100, sorry, 140,000 trend line, and 130, 140,000 trend line. And if we go one or two standard deviations above that, uh, we could get to something like 600,000. That would be on a blowout kind of move. Um, I think we are going to have a blowout move. Um, and I don't know if it's next year or uh, the year after, but I think that you know, I've sort of I've said that I think that we could really see a high in around five five hundred to six hundred thousand this cycle. Now, you know, if you want to debate whether you know some version of the power law or some other uh, statistical modeling thing is that I don't care like it doesn't matter to me I'm I'm really only here because I want to make money and so I think it's pretty unlikely that um, I think it's pretty unlikely that we go down much from here over the next two years and I think it's pretty likely that we at least double over the next two years and those are really great odds uh, so to me, I think this is basically that's pretty much all I all I want to get out of the power law, and I'm not trying to win any mathematical, you know, contest here about about this. Uh, I do love some of the work that Plan C has put out, and Sins, and, and and others, and Giovanni. You know, these are all very interesting to me, um, you know, intellectually. But at the end of the day. The real thing that interests me is just making money. So, um, and you know, knowing that my big bet on Bitcoin is is is, or giving me the confidence that my big bet on Bitcoin is accurate. So, that's kind of where I am. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a little simple, more simple minded than others. And uh, you know, I think in the end, it really is a question of going big on something you like, and it's kind of that. I put that tweet out about a guy that I knew in New York, and uh, this guy actually, he worked for Soros for a while. Um, you know, he was an analyst, and then he became, you know, he became a, a risk taker for Soros and another, I can't really tell you the other name of the firm, because that might give him away, but a uh, very interesting guy. Um, and, you know, his entire he played around in all kinds of things, right? You know, he was a seed seed investor in Salesforce, for example. You know, but um, you know, really, all his money was made on Intel, and so I think that was a that really tells you something. And I think here again, this is going to be a big move. I think it's really going to be how not not just if you're right by Bitcoin, but uh, how big you are. You know, did you did you get in with uh, did you get in with uh, one bitcoin, a uh, hundred bitcoin, or a thousand bitcoin? Right. So, I think size really matters here, and um, yeah. And so, 
I think this is, I really just want to get more confidence, uh, not more confidence, but I just want to continue to get my confidence up. And that's really what interests me uh, personally. Uh, I'm not I'm not here trying to get some kind of fields medal in mathematics or anything. So, you know, I, that that's kind of where I stand personally. And I um, hope you guys enjoy this. If you like my content, hit the subscribe button. Um, I am trying to get my subscription numbers up on YouTube because that um, enables me to kind of uh, get in front of more interesting people, which gets me more feedback and it helps everybody. So thanks a lot, guys, and thanks for subscribing.